go! Look at it. Superhuman strength. Come on, crowd. Give it a first hand. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing beats us. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hey there, Powder Keg. I'm Brian Zane. He's Mr. Ooh La La, and welcome to POW Pro Wrestling. Mr. I still can't get over that main event from two weeks ago. The Hammer Brothers regaining the POW Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championships in that hellacious steel cage match with the Midnight Heat. You know, considering it was the debut of the cage in POW, what a way to kick things off. Cage cheat indeed. The Hammer Brothers went through all that attrition. They went through the trial of the steel to get those gold belts back in their possession. Sent to Midnight Heat, their former mentors into mince meat and came out as the power tag team champion. So who knows who can stop them? Who will stop the Hammer Brothers? What can you do more than them to put it in a cage with the Midnight Heat, huh? As far as what the future holds for the Hammer Brothers and who could be challenging for those belts next, well, we're gonna find out really soon this week right here on POW Pro Wrestling. But we want to let you know, the next several weeks of programming here at POW are taking place from beautiful PK Park in Eugene, Oregon. It was the site of this year's Base Brawl 2, the second inning. For the second year in a row, we at POW are partnering up with Eugene Emeralds, and we gave the fans a heck of a show during the event, as you'll see some footage throughout the weeks, and also the live action in the ring along the first baseline after the show. It was a beautiful night and a wild night of action, mister. Let's start off and show you that footage with this number one contenders match for those POW Tag Team Championships, mister. I know the division is blowing up. We're gonna revisit this rivalry, C4, and a different version of the Flaming Aces. More like the Super Aces as Spencer Scott got a little hitch in his giddy up, his knee is hurt, and so Jay Dome, that Super Zero who's been a torment to my favorite man, the most beautiful man in power, Charming Charlie Avell is joining Zay Perez to take on C4, who have come close to those Power Tag Team Championships. You know, they answered that open challenge from the Hammer Brothers uh, last year after the Hammer Brothers won those tag team titles. They had it by the hair of their chinny chin chin against the Midnight Heat until those pesky jerk and sledge came in and cost them the belts, got C4, disqualified by attacking the Midnight Heat, which of course led to that cage match. So C4, ready to get back into the top of contention. I think they'll be very pleased to put uh, the Flaming Aces, the Super Aces, or whatever you want to call them, into their place to get there. So it should be an exciting match as always. Both teams have a lot to prove, both with chips on their shoulders. It's C4 versus Jaden and Zay Perez coming up right now.
C4 certainly feel as if they're kind of above it, Bulldog. Well, maybe they have a point, but the thing is that the, the Super Aces, the Flying Aces, whichever they are tonight, uh, I guess it's the Super Aces. Well, I mean, they got a, they got a, a point too, and they should be challenging for the Tag Team Champions as well. They've certainly been on a roll. This is two thirds of, wait a minute. Well, folks, this is not on our rundown, but this number one contenders match for the tag titles, Bulldog has wait, been they interrupted are the tag team champions, though. by the champions. I tell you right now, they... That's Jack Hammer in the on the apron. His little brother Sledge on the outside. Together, they are the two-time POW Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Hammer Brothers, one of the hottest acts in all POW Pro Wrestling. Maybe they're doing a little scouting, Bulldog. Well, I'll tell you, you know, anybody who's ever seen Sledge in a tug of war, knows exactly you're wrestling against uh, any champions right now. He took on many and then some and destroyed them all in a tug of war. And it looks like he's got something to say. Well, he may not need the microphone. I don't think he does. I could. Well, yes, it is. Oh boy. They're gonna put the belts up? Well, I guess they're going to uh, circumnavigate this whole one, number one contendership matchup here. C4 and the Super Aces, they're already having a shot right now. in the current overlord is going to let this, uh, I don't know if he's going to argue it, it just makes this opening matchup even better. Well. All right, well, batting down the hatches. What an unexpected turn of events has gone from a number one contenders title matchup all the way for the championship. C4 getting a little handsy without that belt. They believe they are the rightful champions to be. This match could be their opportunity to show the world just what C4, what people have been talking about these guys for the better part of a year. Well, I can tell you something. The last time that we had a match here at PK Park, I mean, these guys, these guys, the Hammer Brothers, were insane then. Imagine what's going to happen in a three-way. Well, Hammer Brothers, they came away victorious it was a controversial ending, but nevertheless, they walked away with the tag titles with the help of Sluggo, the beloved mascot of the Eugene Emeralds. I haven't seen him. Of course, we are here in the shadow of Watson Stadium, PK Park, for the second annual Base Brawl event. We're so grateful to the Eugene Emeralds for hosting us here for the next several episodes here of Pow Pro Wrestling. These fans here, many first timers, never seen live wrestling before. Bulldog, they're gonna get a heck of a treat. Not only that, but I mean, I just look around. I can't, I can't, I can't walk anywhere. There's just wall to wall people. It is packed tight here. The fans have packed the stairwell leading down here to the first baseline. And right now, Guillermo Rosas is looking to hit a home run right out the gate, but boy. That's some of the green monster. I know we're not in Boston, but yeah, he's gonna take on. He's gonna take on Sledgehammer. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. 
of a home run out of the park. The one fall to a finish here. The Hammond Brothers could lose the championship without being involved. Isn't that weird? That's a strange thing with these they, they, dances. It's they gave themselves those odds. But I'll tell you what, though. In future episodes, you'll have an opportunity to witness. Oh my goodness, wait a minute, we got things being thrown into the audience. Oh my goodness. We got the unbelievable Jade who's gonna try a test of strength against Sledgehammer. Now, Jaden the Unbelievable is in the ring getting his first piece of in-ring action here. Oh, and right now, you uh, think about the matchup between, say, Spider-Man and Kingpin, the size disparity. That's what I'm getting right now. When I see Sledgehammer single-handedly bending over backwards, Zay Perez and Jaden, look at that. That's something else that shows you the strength of the oversized load. The much larger member of the Hammer Brothers who defeated the Midnight Heat to become three-time tag team champions. My mistake uh, from earlier. Well, you know, the thing is, is that they've won them so many times. I mean, they've held them so many times that realistically, it just sort of blends in. You said it, Bulldog. As Guillermo Rose is right now with Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer brings over to Jackhammer. Into the buckle he goes, and the tag main, in comes Jack. Here we go. Jack Hammer, the iron worker, oh. throwing down those iron-like fists in an axe handle manner. Now, quick tags here. That is going to be the key to victory here for the champions to retain oh, their titles. Oh, goodness. They backed up with Jack Hammer. Now Sledgehammer with the Sledgehammers on the head of Rosas. Who's already had to feel Jack and maybe Jack's tagged in again. You have to believe, Bulldog, that this actually sneaking up on both of those prospective contenders like this, totally changing the strategy oh. as Jack Hammer comes down with that double axe handle, bombs away off the second rope. It proves again that the Hammer brothers are not slouches when they're putting up the belts. They're willing to put them up at any time against anyone. They want to make a good impression here on this uh, near rabid crowd here oh, at wow. EK Park. And stepping up to the plate, batting as a lefty, is Jack Hammer. Oh. I think uh, that's gonna be at least a double Bulldog. And Brad Lee was looking at just cringing. Looking to run the bases, stopping at third, all right. In, comes, again. in comes Sledge now. Oh, no. It's a double team effort here. This could be bad. This could be bad for Guillermo Rosas. Oh boy, you, you ain't whistling Dixie. He's These looking fans to back already, it up. They already know what's going on. Gotta back it up. Watch out, Guillermo. Oh no. It is a full moon tonight here in Eugene, Oregon. Wow, is it ever. <laughs> I haven't seen the moon out in the sky, but it just happened right there in the ring. Sledgehammer and Jack asserting their dominance here. Right now, you're just waiting for Jaden and uh, Zay Perez. They're chomping at the bit to get some action here, I would imagine. Question is, I don't know if you see that the hammers are doing so far. Wait a minute, what's Cody Chung got in mind? He's saving his partner, oh. which is a pretty smart move. I was just gonna say that was gonna end it right there. It could have very well ended. The wheelbarrow is as devastating as advertised here. Well, the Hammer Brothers again, you know, they're defending. Oh, on oh, the wait a minute, the action spilled to the outside here. It's kind of a no man's land situation. Very uh, small margin for error, let's very just say. Very much so, very much so. As Jack picks up Kimber Roses. Oh! Oh, no, 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 Roses with the counter, picks him up and down with the back suplex. Does Roses go with the cover? One, two. Oh, boy. C4 almost became the new Pound Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Just like that. Just like that. It can happen in an instant. Snap suplex by Roses. The powerhouse of C4. Tag okay. made. In comes classic Cody Chun. Now, we may not have seen C4 around for a little bit, but they are itching to oh. take on the champions, and they're itching to be the champions as well. I mean, these guys, you've seen them here in Pound Pro Wrestling. You've seen them all over the internet. 
dominating and showing why they are one of the tag teams to watch right now in the wrestling scene. They oh, feel that. Wow. They Big feel back that elbow. they're as good as champions could happen here. No, not yet. C4, of course, famously lost the Flame and Aces in that first round matchup in the inaugural tag title tournament. I think ever since then, Bulldog, they have had a chip on their shoulder. They have indeed. And you heard it, you know, these guys said, we want the championship. Well, they're getting their chance at the championship. So far, they're looking not too bad. Oh. That's right. Quick tags made between Roses and Chun. It's worth pointing out the reason Spencer Scott is at ringside here, still recovering from his ACL injury. We wish him the best, but it's a good thing that the Super Aces run in a trio. Jaden stepping in here and wrestling on behalf of Spencer. Well, I gotta tell you something, you know, that's why you gotta check out Power Pro Wrestling whenever it comes to your area, because there are matches that you can see live that you may not be able to see on YouTube or anywhere else. And we've gotten to see Spencer Scott in, in some mixes of things of late, and that's, that's been a bad thing. Nothing Double like a live wrestling now. experience. Now, wait a minute, up goes Jack, but Jaden, kind of saving for a moment. Well, Rescuing Jack, but then throwing him into the corner and an impressive double team maneuver. I told you, Bulldog, these guys are just dying for a shot at getting these belts. Tag eight, tag eight again. Jaden tags off. Say Perez, oh, oh and Jaden hits him. Look at this. I mean, I tell you what. Oh, the Super Aces collectively, they are thick as thieves. They have a great bond. And they know each other like the backs of their hands. So. All these different variations are equally effective. I tell you what, that's not effective. I don't know what it is. The cover could have new champions. Oh. No. And how about that? Can you imagine if that pinfall went to three? The Hammer Brothers could have lost the championship exactly. right there. You know, it, it, it can happen in a, in a blink of an eye. I mean, you just don't know how these championships can change hands so quickly. Then go on top, kind of copying the, uh, the taunt of the Hammer Brothers there, that boom, boom motion they like to do. All right, have a little, little action here with uh, Chung, and then take a look, Jade right now, sighting of Roses, oh, but he gets up, oh, up and nice over. Oh, evasive and maneuver, oh, and uh, a blind tag, Jade did not see that coming. This press by Jack Sledge, one half of the champions, one to fight to keep wow. his title in the hands of he and his brother. Right now, though, Jack is really, he's putting in overtime. Three consecutive Fez presses. And he, boy, he's having a hard time staying on. Cooper Moore. Does the union allow that? Well, say? he's getting paid time and a half, maybe. Who knows? Be. Double time and a half. It's a union job. These fans here in Eugene, Oregon, liking what they see as the Hammer Brothers continue their run of momentum. Oh, over tackle by Sledge. Good and one. another. Good walk away, 2-0 and oh Three. at PK and Park. Four. Oh my goodness, watch out when you're in the ring with Sledge, the human wrecking ball making good. Well, they say he's a quarter ton. He's showing it right there. A quarter ton of humanity. You said it, Bulldog, and that is why you see this three, now four on one mugging of the larger hammer. Jack trying to get in Jack, this, though. trying to save his brother, but to no avail right now. Cody, oh. watch out. Oh, watch out for our cameraman. Oh, boy. Good grief, just threw them all off. They only made him angry. Oh, no. Oh, super kick, well placed by Jaden. Kind of put Sledge out in his feet. Right in the nose. Oh my goodness, kick I after kick. He's still standing. Rose is trying. Oh, oh up and over. over sends everyone tumbling down. I think Lee felt that one as well. This crowd doesn't know what to think after that? That was incredible. I just looked like a car wreck right out there. We Who's are... gonna be the first to their feet though? We are, up. we are well past the seventh inning stretch here at the old ballpark. PK Park to be precise. And now C4 and the Aces are the ones standing and they're throwing punches left and right every which way. 
you know both of these teams are highly motivated to win those beautiful white and silver belts. Oh, super kick by Perez. And to be the champions, my goodness, what a feather in their cap that could be. Good. Oh, an amazing year, but boy, that is going to come down hard. Crashing reality. The playboy, the only man who can make one-legged tights look good. What's he got in mind here? Going up top. Getting Wait high minute, altitude. What's Charlie Abel doing out here? What is Abel doing? The most beautiful man in Pow Pro Wrestling, so he says. A man who certainly marked to the beat of his own drum, and he has got... No business being out here. Look oh, out! Goodness, Look out right into the laps of the front row. My goodness. And now Sledgehammer in a bad way here. His leg looks to be hurt. We got some fighting out here between Jaden and Avell. There. Oh, geez. Look out. Look out. Look out. Wait, wait, wait. They are making their way past us, fighting their way into the oh, back. Wait a second. We've only got, we now have Cody Chungo against Sledgehammer. This is a mismatch if I ever saw it. Well, Spencer Scott is in no shape to get back in there. Zay Perez is in a heap on the outside, leaving Cody Chun all by himself as Jack and Sledge suddenly are in the driver's oh, seat again. Where's the referee? Where's the referee? That is an excellent point. Where is the referee? I know he got hammered in that melee. He's not a wrestler, that's for sure. Total bedlam here at the ballpark. Oh my park. goodness, the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow's full, the load is full, and here comes the painter. That connects, but there is no referee to be found. Rosas makes his way back in the ring. Folks, this matchup continues here for the POW Tag Team Championships. May the title match impromptu. Oh no. Take a look here. Here comes Diesel. Oh. Hammer brings down Rosas. Referee Brad Lee has now made his way back into the ring. This is going to be it. Two. Got it. Yes. Three it's count. Ring the, bell. ring the bell. It's over. It's over. The Tag Team Champions retain their belts. I'll tell you, that was a match where anybody could have been the champions, but boy, I'll tell you, the Hammer Brothers successfully defend. Jaden, and Jaden being taken out at a crucial moment there, allowing the Hammer Brothers to play the numbers game to their advantage. And you see there, they called their shot, they inserted themselves into that matchup and walked away, the Tag Team Champions Showing, hey, they are the dominant team in I the Power Pro Wrestling so, Tag Division. C4 and the Super Aces, they're going to challenge at any time. They were our quality opponents for sure. What a night here. Take me out to the ballpark. Beast Brawl back in effect at Power Pro Wrestling. Wow, how about that, Mr. Ulala? We thought we were getting a number one contendership match for those tag titles, but the champions, the Hammer Brothers, they showed up and said, nah, -uh, we don't want to wait to find out who we're going to fight. We'll take them both. What a triple threat matchup that was, and the Hammers made a statement by retaining this week here on PAL. C4 had a bit of a protest. Hammer Brothers put up the belts. Jay Dillon and Zay Perez, oh so close, but if it wasn't for the most beautiful man in PAL, pretty, pretty Charlie. We're going to make sure Jaden doesn't have too much success until we're done with him, man. You know, you and Jaden and Charlie are just going to have to sit in a room at some point and just work all this out. It's getting way too chaotic in the POW Pro Wrestling ring. That's just in my humble opinion. Well, speaking of unresolved issues, mister, next week's main event at POW Pro Wrestling, it's going to lead to something of finality, mister, because we're finally going to find out who's the real leader of POW Pro Wrestling. Is it the so-called overlord Jonas Albert Robinson, the guy who stole my job or is it going to be me the original commissioner the influencer the youtube celebrity himself brian zane we're going to find out in next week's matchup that eight person tag team match as team zane takes on the jarmy the future of pal pro wrestling depends on it we'll see you next time with that matchup for mr ooh la la i'm brian zane and we'll see you then i'm officially declaring war on pal pro wrestling since arriving in POW Pro Wrestling, Jonas Albert Robinson has been obsessed with power and respect at any cost. And if he can't buy it, he'll steal it. Brian Singh 
is officially suspended in his place, Jonas Albert Robinson. Robinson took over the reins of the company while a certain commissioner was away on vacation. And ever since then, the self-proclaimed overlord of POW has made life a living hell for its stars. You don't need to worry about Malcolm Flex because his ass is fired. You two are fired! It's chaos at Pal Pro Wrestling and everything's topsy turvy. While the board of directors has scrambled for a solution to this hostile takeover, the old boss has made one thing perfectly clear. He wants that job back. You might want to add the word interim to your title. And I'm going to make sure that I get the commissionership back here at Pal. It's all come down to a final stand at PK Park for absolute control. Dove and Dangerous, Amira and Malcolm Flex fight for their jobs and the future of POW itself when Team Zane battles Jonas and his Jarmy. Who will walk away with all the power in POW Pro Wrestling?